Hey, what's up guys? We're over here at the Park MGM right now and we had to check out the chef truck. This is like the newest addition to the Park MGM's eating area. You've got Eataly as well. You've got Roy Choi's best friend. So Chef is one of my favorite movies. And then when I heard they had a truck out here at MGM, you know I had to come check it out. So I got a Cubano and I got some plantain chips. Let's check out this Cubano real quick. It's the Media Noche. Wow, look at that. So there's this buttered roll, and then there's roasted mojo pork, there's ham, pickles, there's mustard inside, the outside's lathered in butter, and then they put it on the plancha, so it's nice and crispy and flat. Ooh, look at that. Let's try this out real quick. Mmm. Mmm. Dang, that's real good. You got that nice cheese pulp. The pork is seasoned real nice. You get the nice pickle flavor in there. Mmm. That's real good. Mmm. -hmm. Mm, that's good. With the Cubano, you gotta get some plantain chips. This is a good amount right over here, and it comes with uh, some salsa verde. Let's try this out real quick. Mm. Let's try this. Mm. These are good. The salsa has a nice little kick to it. These are nice and crispy and a little hint of salt on them. Mm. These are real good. Mm. Okay, Let's see, I don't typically like pickles, but I'll try it for the sake of the sandwich. Mm. Real good. To bring you back to Florida. Mm -hmm. So we had our fair share of Cubanos because we go to Orlando all the time. And there's a lot of Cuban food. But I think it's up to par with it. It's pretty good. Mm, that is really good. There's a little bit of kick of heat in there. Uh -huh. What would you rate the uh, sandwich out of 10? You gotta rate it one to 15. <laughs> it's 8. It's 8? What about mm -hmm. the chips? Um, like a 7? Oh, good. Okay, I got the berries and cream. And then, so there's uh, raspberries, blueberries, and some whipped cream and like some caramel bits. Yeah. Mmm, smells good. I could smell the alcohol in it though. That grand marnie. Yeah. Let's try it. Refreshing. It's good, but I feel like the alcohol is strong. Oh, really? At least. I don't drink a lot, so. <laughs> I like it though, it's good. All right, so if you've seen the Chef movie, you know we had to get that chocolate molten lava cake. So this is basically like what you would get at pretty much any chain restaurant, like a Chili's or whatever, they'd have that chocolate molten cake with some ice cream on the side. But um, you know, for the movie, he uh, had a critic come by and then he was like hating on the ganache or something like that. But let's check it out. It's got some whipped cream, some mint, the chocolate lava cake, and let's cut into it and see if it's molten. You ready? It's fucking molten! Okay, so look at this. You got the chocolate cake with the chocolate ganache inside. I'm gonna get some of the whipped cream. There's like chocolate bits on top. Mmm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. That's actually really good because the cake is nice and warm and you've got the little ganache is nice and warm inside too. 
And then the um, whipped cream kind of balances it out nice. Mm. Mm. I give this like a 6 out of 10, 7 out of 10. It's pretty good, but it's alright. True, I really don't like chocolate cake and stuff like that, but it's pretty good though. Mm. I like it with some ice cream on the side too. Too bad it's nap time. He loves some chocolate cake. And the berries and cream looks good. There's like blueberries, raspberries. Oh yeah, let's get some of the whipped cream, some of that caramel dust on top. That's real good. It's like real refreshing. Mmm. Mmm. I like this one a lot better. This one's like a 8 out of 10 right here. Mmm. But that hint of uh, Grand Marnier, that's good. Mm. All right, so overall, I'd give this place probably like an 8 out of 10. I'd come back definitely for the Cubanos. These are far better than the ones that I tried in Orlando. Now, Orlando is not Miami, so don't get it twisted now, you know what I'm saying? And we haven't really looked for any other Cuban places here in Vegas yet. I'm sure there are some good ones around, but if you're visiting, you're on the Strip, you want a nice Cubano, come check this place out. Now, this place is real dope, too, because they got the actual truck here, so it's got the vibe of the movie. And then the eating area is nice. They've got probably a nice seating for like a good 30, 40 people or so. And the dining area has got like a nice little little Havana, Cuba kind of vibe to it. Versailles, you know what I'm saying? Then after, go gamble. Yeah. So yeah, come I check it out. I give it an 8 out of 10. This is so cool. They got a whole food truck inside here. Now the guy told me this, this food truck was a little higher, but then they had to slam it. Look at this. It's like a real food truck, but no gas pedal. All right, now check out this model of the chef truck. It's only about maybe five inches thick, but when you look at it from here, it's an optical illusion. You got a Cubano on the plancha. You got an octopus in the back there. Here's another one. Looks like the truck from the chef show on that thing. And then you go look in the back, you got some floating condiments. Looks like they're driving on the Vegas monorail. Look at this little pickle man. 